here in this code sample we can see the data transition attribute with a value that specifies the transition effect that will take place when the user press that link. So we have a code sample with uh, six different data transition values. Each one of them will take the user to another page through a different effect. So let's see how does it work. Well, we have the fade effect. We have the slide effect. We have the slide up effect. We have the slide down effect. We have the pop effect. And we have the flip effect.